You know, most of us just take it for granted that we can pretty much pull any book off the shelf and read it. But sadly, in this region, 42% of the population is considered illiterate. And although illiteracy might seem like a very private problem, it can have serious consequences for society. For all intents and purposes, without a literate base of a community, you have a very ill community. Sharmi Chella knows whereof she speaks. As Executive Director of Literacy Alberni, she heads an agency that tackles the problem head on. We have reading, writing, numeracy, which I think most people consider when they think about literacy, but we expand it to computer literacy, financial literacy, fitness literacy, nutritional literacy, and emotional literacy as well. We really can't function without without the donations that we get from the community. Which is why being selected as one of this year's beneficiaries of the annual charity golf classic is so important. Every year the uh, organizational committee chooses four local charities that are going to be the beneficiaries of the tournament. Uh, so the, the proceeds from the tournament go half to Children's Hospital, half to four local charities. It's been such um, an exciting endeavor thus far. Our volunteers are getting excited, our staff, our learners are even getting on board and going to volunteer some of their time. So who's winning? Who's winning? We're who's both winning. winning. We're both winning. <laughs> we started out with a, a chance to see celebrities and that sort of thing and, and what we found now is that um, people come out mostly uh, to support the charities and just to have fun. The Charity Golf Classic is a fun event for golfers and non-golfers alike, with a dinner as well as silent and live auctions. And we've got trips, fishing trips, and we've got all kinds of greats. We've got stuff from gardening to knitting to whatever. It's, it's everybody can find something they'd like. And with auction items and enthusiasm like this, it's not surprising that the tournament has raised a major amount of money over the years. We've raised about $650,000 I want to stay on as long as I can. I want to see the million mark and then maybe carry on to the second million mark. It's a great way to be able to uh, support uh, local charities through a, a game, a sport and, and just a good day. A good day for the golfers, a good day for the club and perhaps most of all, a good day for the charities involved. That's the biggest part of this golf tournament is seeing the tears in the eyes of the local charities that this money really makes a difference to them. I am so privileged to be part of this community and to watch that even in times of, of what we see as perhaps economic downturns, people still continue to give, they still continue to see value in programs like literacy in the community and they give. This year's Charity Golf Classic is happening on July the 5th at the Alberni Golf Club. Registration is now open and dinner tickets are available. In Port Alberni, I'm Nancy Wilmot.